बी रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट इट गिव्स मी इमेंस प्लेजर टू बी हियर टूडे टू इनोग्रेट द नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन डबलिंग इंडियाज फूड प्रोडक्शन इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड द क्रॉप केयर फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया आई एम ग्लैड टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस ऑगस्ट गैदरिंग कंप्राइजिंग पॉलिसी मेकर्स रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम द एग्रोनॉमिकल इंडस्ट्री एंड इमिनेंट इंटेलेक्चुअल्स एंड साइंटिस्ट्स इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ परसुइंग इंक्लूसिवली द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इट इज ऑफ प्राइमरी एसेंस to achieve the interdependent objectives of poverty alleviation mitigation of food inadequacy creation of rural employment and growth in rural incomes substantial expansion in the country's food production will greatly facilitate in meeting these objectives the subject matter of this conference is therefore apt and i applaud the efforts of the organizers to bring an issue of topical importance to the forefront of national policy discourse a country's development is dependent on the productivity of its people unless the health of our population is secured we may not be able to realize the progress that we have envisaged for our nation with a growing population the challenge before us is not only to ensure that the indicators of food security do not deteriorate but instead show improvement food production therefore deserves high priority in our national policy formulation food deprivation cannot be allowed to continue steps are required to secure for the poor and the needy greater access to food our democracy is committed to ensuring for its citizens social economic and political justice we have relied on a rights based method and empowered our citizens with legal enlightenments the landmark mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act of 2005 is one such example i am hopeful of the proposed legislation for provision of food security to our people becoming a reality very soon in terms of growth india's agricultural sector has lagged behind the sectors of the economy the contribution of agriculture to the country's national income has therefore declined over time from about 23% during the ninth five year plan period the share of this sector has come down to about 15% during the 11th plan period yet in a country with one third of its rural population below poverty line the potential of the agricultural sector for rural uplift cannot be undermined 
about a half of our country's population depends on agriculture for livelihood which is unique as such the growth of the agriculture and allied sectors decreased from 7.0% in 2012-13 to 2.8% in 2013-14 and 2.1% in the first half of the current financial year this declaration is perhaps reflective of the challenging economic scene but i am confident of this situation being reversed quickly agriculture out to be an effective agent of change in rural india we have envisaged the agriculture sector to grow at 4% per annum during the 12th five year plan the agricultural growth in the 11th plan period was mainly due to improved agricultural prices as demand for major crops are projected to slow down during the 10th plan period we will have to rely primarily on productivity grains to attain the targeted growth the eastern region of our country is blessed with abundant natural resources and has the potential to achieve much higher crop productivity at the same time rice production in agriculturally advanced areas of northwestern india is becoming unsustainable due to over exploitation of natural resources like land and water we have devised a strategy for increasing production and productivity in the eastern region to ensure food security while reducing pressure on northwestern region to achieve this objective a four pronged strategy was chalked as a part of the union budget for 2014-15 covering agricultural production reduction in wastage credit support and thrust to the food processing sector in order to spur inclusive growth enhance rural incomes and sustain food security as part of the strategy it was decided to implement bringing green revolution to eastern india program under rashtriya krishi vikas yojana in states to address issues of raised based cropping system in these states with an outlay of rupees 400 crore each in 2013-14 and 2014-15 and rupees 1000 crore in 2015-16 as a result of these initiatives farmers in the selected areas have adopted good agricultural practices like use of drum seeders in direct seeded rice line sowing system of rice identification improved flash flood tolerant and drought tolerant varieties of rice and have gained from the yield advantage of hybrid rice technology I am told that the sustained efforts of the past 3 years have produced very encouraging outcomes in terms of significant increase in the share of the eastern region in the total rice production in the country of the total rice production of 
फोर मिलियन टन्स इन द कंट्री इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन फोर्टीन अ रिकॉर्ड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फिफ्टी फाइव मिलियन टन्स ऑफ राइस वॉज कंट्रीब्यूटेड बाय द ईस्टर्न रीजन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब